receiver. It's Braylon Addison, number two in the slot to the top of your screen. They look the other way instead. Now pressure coming. Deep for Stanford. And he's down to the 36-yard line. Adams got away from the pressure. I think his finger is just fine. The hold on the outside as well. Feeney was complaining to the officials. Third down and long. They show blitz but only come with four. Adams caught in the pocket. Now throws deep. Has a man open. End zone. Touchdown. Darren Carrington. His first catch of the season. Carrington coming off of a suspension gives them deep speed and Vernon Adams did that time but didn't make it. What a terrific job in a collapsing pocket by Vernon Adams and Ducks fans have to be so happy to see seven back and a healthy finger for number three. Runs with poise. Jeff Lindquist is the new quarterback. He's a big kid, about 240. They run the jet sweep instead with Dwayne Washington, and that gets them nothing. Beautifully defensed. Excuse me, that was McClatcher on the jet sweep, and Prevo came to a little surprise. They weren't getting a timeout. Washington showing blitz. Freeman runs right through the space that was vacated. They couldn't have called a better play if Washington had announced what they were doing. It's really important here in college. He's a remarkable athlete. Freeman's got it for some tackle, but Adams trying to pick up an extra yard. A little dangerous there at the end. Adams with plenty of time. Rifles to a wide open Carrington. And Carrington, a very dynamic receiver, ends up with the needed for Washington here. Great job, guys. Where to get that shot? Take Griffin and Taj Griffin will have enough for a first down. It will be first and goal for the Ducks. Send goal. They'll give it to Griffin again. Still on his feet. Griffin powers his way into the end zone. And out in front of him, Evan Bowler, the new left guard who just kept driving. And it is not illegal for an offensive lineman to push from behind. They cannot pick up and move somebody. Boy, that was a good block there by Jake Pisarchik, too. But as long as they're not carrying and pushing, they're just there's around the line of scrimmage for Oregon. I think a first down here would help. Browning trying to scramble, and they got him back at the 22. Boy, that was a really excellent finish by Tui Talia. Ball and man, rush for Oregon. I thought maybe Washington could check into a run there because it looked like they had a chance, and that's Balducci. You've got to give Shane Brostick a little bit of help there in the middle. Balducci, a timeout trying to save it for your offense, and that sack really hurt Oregon. Didn't get that timeout very quickly. Adams under pressure again. Escapes again. And unloads for Addison. Braylon Addison couldn't stay in bounds. It would have been a touchdown. A gain of 45 yards, and Adams is playing Houdini tonight. And if I'm Washington, I, I would think about a timeout here. This is King. Kevin King slips down. He got his foot caught as he put his arm out there. What an unbelievable job by Vernon Adams. But I think at this point, if I'm watching, I got to regroup. All of a sudden, we get a sack. It feels like Oregon's going to run the clock out. Now they He's only missed one in his career, 20 of 21. And this is a 28-yard shot that is true. And it's 16-3 Oregon. Blitz coming. And they got him. Browning was stuffed about Ducci. The nose man got penetration with DeForest Buckner. Buckner is the leading sacker on this team. That's three sacks for the team. Buckner goes inside and buckles Cameron Shelton, the right guard, just a little bit high for Shelton. And that's just a run through. This is a big, powerful man, but Balducci may have beat him there. Again tonight, they have been aggressive at the right time. They come with four now. 
More pressure and another sack from behind. It's Buckner. And now you're outside of a comfortable field goal range for Washington. Right at about uh, the 30 yard line is the most comfort. And this is DeForest Buckner. You, you, you got to think about starting to slide the line here. Defensive tackles and the big middle linebacker. Big help to have him back. Adams under pressure again. Like a broken record. He escapes again. Has the first down and more <laughs> slides out of bounds. Boy, is he quick. I mean, Washington has had him dead to rights how many times in the backfield and haven't been able to get him. Here's the big guy breaking away. Freeman inside the 45. They're about the 42. He came into this game with 32 runs better than 10 yards. That's number one in the country. He just added to it. Well, that was a mistake that time. You could see the misstep by Azeem Victor. He comes in. We saw guys can get out and cover some space in the pass game as well. Those two add up to 600 pounds, however. <laughs> Pressure coming here. A flanker screen. And that's going to be enough for another first down as Addison makes the catch. Had blockers in front. And the game is 14. Addison is so good in space. I remember a couple years ago we had this team and just watching him find a place to run. Boy, uh, Oregon's lucky. To All over again. But this time from the nine. Pressure coming on Adams. Scrambles away from it. They just can't contain him. He does it again. Throws to the end zone. Touchdown, Carrington. Four catches. And you simply can't it, contain this kid. It, it feels like Christmas for Duck fans right now. You lose this kid to injury, and it's been a, a big point of contention for this club. But he's back, and he's good. This uh, game winds down. Freeman. Big guy's off and running again. Freeman to midfield, finally forced out of bounds. Very close to a first down. At 75, you better be able to make people miss. Adams off his back foot. Perfect post. And a great play by Carrington. And this is terrifically blocked by Oregon. Wow, do they have it sealed. But watch Vizcaino right there, stays alive and has excellent speed, can really run for a kicker. How about that? Boy, that I, I, I mean, that's that's as good as effort as you're going to see from a kicker. Vizcaino from the time, a terrific player off the edge for the Huskies. Adams throws the post down to the six-yard line. And again, Carrington was wide open. Flag is down. Two. This is a chip shot from 24. And he's true on this one. So 11 out of 12 on the year for Schneider. And it's My goodness, are they eating a lot of clock. That ball was tipped at the line of scrimmage. It looked like Buckner got a fingertip on it. The ball actually. In this drive, you could make the argument that you would have two, maybe three more possessions just in the normal yes. flow of the game. And now, now you're almost guaranteeing that you may only. Freeman. Breaks it within a half yard of a first down. And, and you know. You really have to take a chance at this point whether somebody's open or not, and he does. Oh, line drive throw, and it's picked off. Intercepted by Amadi. Well, you feel for him yeah. because he's got to throw the ball down the field. You throw it underneath, you may not get to throw it again. Yeah, and, and, and Braden Lenius, the receiver to that side, he didn't see the quarterback give him a look to stop and come back, and the guy who did see that was Ugo Amadi. Makes a wonderful read on this ball to end the game, but uh, Lenius just didn't work his way back. And Amadi does a nice job taking a knee. And what, what a bummer for the University of Washington. This is now the 12th time that they've lost in a row.